Coalition of Civil Society Organization have called on the government to allow anti-graft agencies freedom to rid the country of corrupt individuals and organizations. The executive director of CISLAC, who was speaking on behalf of other civil societies, made this known during a press conference on the state of the fight against corruption in Nigeria and malicious attacks on anti-corruption held in Abuja. He expressed dissatisfaction over the fight against corruption, says there is need for the judiciary to uphold integrity as a way of strengthening the nation's democracy. Our so-called democracy has persistently you know, function under a veil of secrecy and lawlessness. The management of the country's resources has constantly disregarded the fundamental principle of democracy. Over the past few weeks, we have observed with great concern the malicious attacks and deliberate effort to blackmail anti-corruption agencies through sponsorship, influencers, insensitive opinion publication in some national dailies, online and electronic platform, all targeted at discouraging anti-corruption efforts and shielding of uh, people who have actually looted this country from being investigated. The pattern is clear. There is an unfolding plot of superior, serious move to backfeddle all the progress made by anti-corruption uh, in this country. We cannot continue to allow our country to be hijacked by these corrupt individuals who did not constitute any significant number, but keeping Nigerians, you know, in the vast majority in perpetual poverty, insecurity, and inequality. We recommend the following. One, growing concerns over the declining levels of autonomy and integrity of the judiciary must be addressed. Two, to truly establish a flourishing democracy, transparency and accountability must be strictly adhered to in governance. Three, we urge the ruling All Progressives Congress Party and other political parties to take decisive action in purging its ranks by denouncing and breaking support with their members who are currently being investigated by anti-corruption agencies. Four, adequate resource allocation to the anti-corruption agencies has become imperative to uphold their independence and enhance efficiency in the anti-corruption process. What corruption enablers have done is two things to the judiciary. Introduce their friends and relations into positions in the judiciary and secondly, increase considerably the level of corruption through the bribing of judges. So increasingly, judiciary is no longer able to be a space that provides justice. The second element in terms of this uh, defeat of the Nigerian state has to do with the anti-corruption agencies themselves. There has been a concerted war by corrupt people in public office in Nigeria to make sure anti-corruption agencies are unable or prevented from prosecuting corrupt individuals. This means they are turning those institutions into institutions that are incapable of carrying out what's in their mandate. The third issue, and in a sense this is the most important, is they are making it impossible for government institutions to do their work. 